How's every baby? And welcome back to Princess Small Beans. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my age question day. It was super duper fun and I did a lot of super duper small stuffs all day. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So first up in the morning, I woke up at around 11 and I decided to go make some wacky fest. I decided that I was going to make a bacon and egg sandwich and I was going to cut it out into fun shapes with these old cookie cutters I have. After cooking the bacon and the eggs, I buttered up my toast and then I cut it out using the cookie cutters. Then I just folded the egg and the bacon into the shape of the sandwich once I was done seasoning it. So they all had cool little fun shapes. I was done at around 11.30 and I sat down to eat some yummy yummy foods and drink some chalky milk. Yeah, chalky milk. Then I decided to color and to watch some movies and I also decided to get super duper small and get smaller than anyone has ever been small in the whole history of small. I played with the new coloring books and toys that I got from my last video when I went to the dollar store and it was just a whole lot of fun just to sit around and play all day. When I went to color the bottom of this page, I noticed that this little squeak character looks a lot like my stuffed animal Beep. So I decided to color them. And then I decided to give them a pacifier so they'd be more like me. See? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how this happened. I was just coloring and lifted up my box and then all my crayons fell out. It, it was a world tragedy, but then I just organized them and put them all back in. It was okay. Then I decided to watch Ratatouille. It's one of my favorite movies, like, ever. So I sat down and watched it, and then I practiced some maths at the same time. So I can be a smart baby. At around 5.30, it was time for snackies. I had a little cheese stick. This guy reminds me of Wemmy. <laughs> After snackies, I decided to play some Minecraft and watch Bluey on my tablet. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I started a new survival world and I built a tiny house just to get me started. Then it was time for Din Din, and my mom got me a Happy Meal so I could get a Luca toy, but I was lied to! I did not get a Luca toy, I got a stupid Scooby Doo toy, and it wasn't even a good one, and if this is a tragedy, uh, I have been robbed, and I will be contacting their lawyers. Just kidding, I don't have any lawyers and I wouldn't sue over this. But it's like a bobblehead toy of Shaggy. Um, and then I decided to play Animal Crossing at like 9. Um, and it was really fun, but it was like raining in the game, so it was kind of sad. So I didn't really do a whole lot. I just kind of walked around and looked at all the progress that I made. And then I decided to 
decided I was gonna go on and show you guys my Ito Gashim Worms that I made in Animal Crossing, uh, which is super duper good. Then I took a little bitty bathroom break, and on my way there, I saw my kitty. <laughs> I'm sure she's being very good. Uh, I think she was in the process of killing a bug, but then she got bored, and then the poor bug was left there to suffer, which kind of made me sad. Um, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> then it was time to eat, so my baby boy will be very adjudicated. Um, and then I also ate some gummy bears while I was weeding, because I love gummy bears. And then after a little bit of weeding, I decided to do some coloring with this pink with water thing that I got again in my last video. Um, it is super cool. It's like my new favorite thing. I've been like plowing through it. Like, it's so entertaining. It's so fun. I highly recommend it. Then I was playing with my toys, but I got really sleepy halfway through. So I decided to go and get ready for bed. Bye. And it was time for me to be in the showers, where I played with some of my jellyfish, got all cleanies, and I use my pasty every now and again. Um, and it was super fun. put on some baby lotion and my PJs and got all ready for bed. And then it was time for me to make princess milk. Now if you don't know what princess milk is, you probably heard it go by a different name, like angel milk. But I call it princess milk, um, maybe because I have a sippy cup that has crowns and princesses on it, and it's super duper cool, and I love it a lot, and it makes me feel like a princess. So if you want to make princess milk with me, I will give you some tips. So I really recommend that you use one of those glass measuring cups like the one I have because it has a little spout so it's easy to pour. You can microwave it and it also has measurements on it so you know exactly how much you make and how much it's going to translate into your sippy cup or your bottle or whatever. But if you don't have one of those, that's totally fine. You can just you make it in like a mug or something. Just make sure that if you are going to warm it up, that you use something that is safe to microwave with. Other than that, for this, you're going to need some vanilla extract, some sugar, a tablespoon, and some milk. So first up, you're going to want to look at your uh, measuring cup and look at the measurements and see how much you think it's a good idea to make for you. For me, I usually make around 200 milliliters because I know based off of my sippy cup, that's how much I will drink before I fall asleep when I'm getting ready for bed. So if I'm going to bed like this, I'll usually make around 200 milliliters. So yeah, I decided to make 200 milliliters worth of milk and that's how much I poured in. Next, I usually will add sugar. Um, my sugar dispenser comes with a teaspoon, so I usually will use teaspoons. If you're gonna do measurements, I usually add maybe about two, one and a half um, teaspoons of sugar. And then I just use my other spoon to stir it. This time I did about one and a half, I'd say, and then I stirred it up. And then it was time for me to add the vanilla extract. I use a tablespoon for this. And usually I'll start off by just adding one and then stirring it in and then tasting it to see if I need to add more. Usually if I add sugar, it will make it taste good. Um, just adding one or one and a half. That's usually the standard. A lot of different recipes say like a lot of different things, but this is just the one that I use. And I kind of made it myself, not gonna lie, just off of trial and error and my personal taste. And then it was time for me to microwave my milk since I was going to bed and I like to have warm milk. I might usually microwave it for about a minute because it's not so hot that I burn my tongue but it's also like 
kind of holds on to the heat for a while so by the time i fall asleep it'll still be nice and warm and then after that i just poured it in my sippy cup and we were all ready to go princess monk yippee ki that's all i have for you guys today before i go i just wanted to say thank you guys for all of the support i've been getting recently I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, which is really cool because that means I can make community posts and I can interact with you guys a lot more than I already do. So I really appreciate all that support and I can't wait. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment because it helps me and you.